Unfortunately, pancreatic cancer presents in a variety of non-specific ways because of where it sits and what it does. The pancreas is located in a portion of the abdomen that has quite a bit of space around it. Um, this means that small cancers may not produce any symptoms um, because they haven't grown into or around other structures. Uh, so it's only when uh, the tumour begins to grow that patients can be symptomatic. It could present with things like pain in the belly, with a bit of heartburn, with some loose stools or a little bit of bloating. Unfortunately, this is also what a number of other benign conditions can present as. And for that reason, it can be quite hard to differentiate. CT and MRI scans are most commonly used to detect pancreatic cancer. Uh, these scans are very accurate in assessing the size of the tumour, uh, whether it's confined to the pancreas or is spread outside of the pancreas, um, as well as assessing the location of the tumour within the pancreas. So the pancreas is in a difficult space. It sits behind the stomach and in front of the uh, spine, so it's actually quite hard to get to from the outside. But luckily for us, it sits just behind the stomach. So if we sit an ultrasound probe put in, we can actually sit it right up against that pancreas. And therefore, we can view the pancreas in fine detail. We can stick a needle through the back wall, through the stomach, into the pancreas and into the tumour and take a sample of tissue that we call a biopsy. Sometimes a radiologist will perform the biopsy using what's called a percutaneous approach. Now, this is where we make a small incision in the skin and uh, obtain a needle biopsy from usually a site where we suspect a secondary tumour. It sounds like a scary procedure. It's actually a very, very, very safe procedure that we do every day here at Epworth Hospital and the risks are pretty minimal. It's a day procedure and patients can go home on the same day. When people talk about the stages of a cancer, doctors can somewhat arbitrarily talk about stages one, two, three, and four. We could talk about that, but perhaps more pragmatically is that there is pancreatic cancer that's operable, can be resected, can be cut out. There is pancreatic cancer that might be able to be cut out. Then there is the stage where a cancer is locally advanced and considered, frankly, unresectable, non-operable. And then the commonest stage of cancer that I see in my work is people with truly advanced or so-called metastatic pancreatic cancer, what a lot of medical books and texts would say is stage four, going back to those numbers. Pancreatic cancer is a complex uh, condition to manage. Big international studies have shown us how important it is to have a high volume centre and centralised care. It's not just because the doctors are better, but the entire hospital is set up with nurses, multiple specialties, dietitians, and people available uh, at any opportunity. Multidisciplinary meetings and multidisciplinary teams are essential in modern medicine. The idea that one doctor would be able to look after all prob problems is a very old fashioned one. These meetings are attended by uh, a number of doctors, usually surgeons, radiologists, pathologists, uh, medical and radiation oncologists, haematologists and palliative care physicians. Uh, in these meetings we individually discuss each patient's radiology and their pathology results and this allows us to come to a consensus as to the best treatment options for every patient. Epworth is unique. Every single patient is seen within 72 hours so that takes away the, the fear that a patient might have and that waiting game. We also triage all of these referrals so the patient is sent directly to the specialist who is most appropriate to deal with whatever stage of the pancreatic disease that the patient has. One piece of advice that I would give the patient diagnosed with pancreatic cancer is to not think too far ahead, to embrace each day, and if they have any issues or concerns, to, to please contact me, um, particularly if it's something they've seen on the internet and they need to discuss and I can offer them reassurance that they're clinicians, uh, experts in the field, and they are probably the best people to speak to. I think it's really important not to go into complete panic stations. So I always say take a deep breath, speak to friends, speak to family. Probably the next few days you'll spend uh, thinking about the diagnosis and you'll probably have thousands and thousands of questions that'll come up. Write them all down, and then when you actually come together with family members or, or other friends, 
uh, to see the doctor on the first occasion, you can go through it and that we can talk about what's the right form of management available. I think it's also very useful to know that there's a huge amount of research now available, a huge number of new devices and technologies that we have, and that there really is now a lot going into pancreatic cancer research. And so even though we've heard a lot of terrible things uh, from friends and the media, we're always very hopeful about improvements in the future and new technologies and treatments available.